Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay and welcome back to Cyrilem Ultimate, where in this episode we have some serious business to take care of. So, last episode was a bit of a marathon. We uh, took care of four regular realms. This episode we have a nether boss to take down and... Uh, Hmm, what do I think about this set of properties? Extra health is gonna be really annoying, but you know what, let's just go for it. Let's see how it goes. I'm feeling confident. Let's just jump into a random realm and see what we can do against nether boss Flubris. We are in the Temple of Lies, very chill, relaxing realm, wonderful music. I, yeah, I think I probably said this every single time I've been here, that I love the music in this realm. We've made our donation to Aurum, we have five enemies, and our master, and uh, of course, we would like to open any chest that we come across, because we like that loot. And if at all possible, we'd like to get to the next favor rank with Aurum as well. Which will definitely happen if we win the realm. But there is, of course, a realistic chance that we won't. Okay, this is going to be Fryden. In the... Where the dead ships dwell realm. Another one that I happened to know off the top of my head. So no need to look that up. Alright, we need to find some buffs for ourselves. I think this is one of those realms where uh, we won't be able to debuff our enemies. Which could be a bit of an issue. It's also strange, we haven't run into any enemies yet. Oh, but we finally find some buffs. Rebirth is a good one. Repelling could be good as well. Ooh, and we should take a look at the rest of our realm properties. Extra traits. Always annoying. Especially when a bunch of them are going first. Oh my. And they're fused with mimics, which explains why they're going first. And with end of turn cast, honestly, we might just be dead on the on this first encounter. Oof, what is even going on? I mean, we won less less because we did anything, more because with mimics, there's all kinds of chaos. Mimics with extra traits on top of it. All kinds of chaos. Nevertheless, we took them down. Now Arcane as well, and Shelled. And there is our favor rank with Aurum. Good stuff. Right. Getting kind of spooky in here. Not finding my opponents. Okay, here we go. Uh, again, hard to even say what's going on. All right. I well, I was gonna say I'm gonna cast a blank slate, but there's nothing we can do. Is everybody's spell gems uh, gone? No. Well, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cast Blank Slate. I'm gonna cast my Ethereal Blank Slate. Just get rid of their extra traits. And the Vivifier can just do a regular reincarnation. And before I go into the boss fight, I am going to enable a battle text. Probably our master will come back to you. Whatever he 
is. I think they're gonna be fused with mimics. I do believe master fights do have access to those fusions. Do we want to get into these optional combats? Ooh, you know what, why not? Uh, what's going on? Oh, my Dread White. Okay, everything that happened prior to the Dread White casting arbitration, I think, was... Uh, that was all just the start of battle stuff. The start of battle effects. Why is this the wrong color? That's really bothering me. It's not a death spell. You can see the... I I'm sorry, it's not a sorcery spell. You can see the icon, you know, in the right where the text is. The, uh, you know, above the star where it shows the charges. It's clearly a death spell, but on the left it's showing up under the sorcery color. Weird. Anyway, uh, let's just do this. And this should end this fight. That gives us an emblem and a small amount of uh, favor with Aurum. Right, what are you gonna do? Mimics are some of the worst things to have your enemies <laughs> fused into. So with my animators, what I'll do is, I will have my Ebony Ant attack. Sorry, I'll have my Ebony Ant resurrect my Dread White. My animators can just do uh, Rabbit Dementia. I guess I don't need to uh, resurrect anybody. I can just do this again. Okay. I'll be amazed if we are able to beat the boss under these conditions that we're dealing with. Well, there's our final buff. Uh, let's, you know what, let's just get into all the optional combat. Okay. Arbitration. Good. This time I am going to use blank slate. Do they? They've already lost their extra traits due to something that happened, not even sure what, so I guess let's just punch them to death? Ugh. Almost. Almost took them down with that volley of punches. Alright, what's, uh, what's going on now? Now I'm gonna do reincarnation because clearly these people seem to be pretty tanky. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, was it... were you blind? Is that what happened? In any event, my Dread White is going to cast Arbitration this time. Get our buffs back. And our Animatus can do... Well, you can just attack, I guess. Okay, there we go. What awful luck. Enemies fused with Mimics. Mimics, I believe, will always be on top of the timeline no matter what you do. We 
which is really annoying. And for some reason, our Dread White is not even provoking. So please provoke. And get a lucky arbitration cast out of it. Alright. Uh, well, let's just try it. this. Good hit. <laughs> There's one more enemy, and you're gonna go down. This time our Dread White is provoking. Actually, I think our Dread White might have gotten killed by someone in that last battle. Would explain why he wasn't provoking. Probably because he died and then lost that status. Alright, come on. That's done. Alright. Grab this token. Any chest there? Chest there. What to... Well... Let's do these optional mini-boss combats, even though... Okay, this time... It wasn't too bad. Ooh, what's going on? God, mimics are just mimics are just the worst. The absolute worst. Those corpse explosions did worryingly little. Do they still have Extra traits? No, they don't. They don't... Well... I don't see any temporary traits, so I don't know- I don't know where their extra traits are going. Are they... Casting something that's removing their own extra trait? I don't know. What I do know is... I'm gonna do this... What happened? Oh, my animators was blind because these are because these are uh, you know just provoke. Rift dancer can do antidote. Ebony ant can also do antidote. Duelist. Can when you eventually go, you can also do antidote. Now nobody's blind anymore. Now we can do rabbit dementia. Except I don't want to waste your charges. Like you never know, the fight may end up uh, being a long one against the boss. So I will just do. I'll do rune of sa. You know, haven't used that in a while. That did. Almost nothing. And now I'll do a regular attack. Okay, good. There we go. Oh yeah, enemies have extra health as well. Which is... Probably explaining why we are... Struggling so much in these uh, boss combats where... Enemies have... A... Uh, very highly enhanced amount of health. Okay. What's going on here? Hard to even say. But a couple of them have died. We're blind again, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Let's just... Punch you to death, and then maybe corpse explosions can... Well, that's annoying. Ugh. Defend. Alright, Ebony, and please cast arbitration and 
get that rebirth buff off this dude. Okay. Okay, maybe one day we'll be able to kill this guy, I think. Here we go. There we go. There we go, both of the uh, mini boss encounters dealt with. And you know what, let's even do these optional <laughs> fights. Ugh. Why am I prolonging things? Dread White is confused, which means arbitration is not an option. However, you should cast Reincarnation on yourself. Now the Rift Dancer should be able to cast Rapid Dementia without any problems. There we go. One of them's gonna try and come back, but to no avail. All right, final fight before first the master fight and then the nether boss fight, assuming we can even beat the master, which under these conditions is uh, not something we can take for granted. All right, come on. The Rift Dancer has gone down, but has come back up. And now our animatus is up. Okay, this time they've kept their uh, temporary traits, but I'm just gonna, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna try and uh, punch my way through, which I did in the end, but uh, rabbit dementia was no longer there. All right, now let's deal with you. What are you? The Paragon Master. Yikes. Oh my god. Just immediately wiped out my animators. What is even happening? Alright, my Vivifier has survived to take their turn. They have all their temporary traits. So we need to blank slate those away. Now we need to arbitrate the rest of their buffs away. Now I think we can do this. Oh my god. What even is this? So obviously extra health is part of it. Um, I don't think they have less damage taken, so it's uh, it's probably just okay. Having damaged them a little bit. Now I want to make sure they don't heal, so let's do a Defile. This is kind of working. Emphasis on kind of. Ah, just... Oh, why did that one guy come back? That's a bunch of malarkey. If you ask me. Alright. Do you have another reincarnation? You do. So just do that. Now our Rift Dancer. You have Rabbit Dementia. So let's do this. This should end things. There we go. And I don't think we even used any of our non-ethereal spells. Alright, that was a tough fight. And no doubt the uh, fight against the nether boss is going to be even worse. However, we have to 
jump in. We've got to see what we can do against Flubris, who we seem to have interrupted in the middle of an extremely entertaining juggling act involving his eyeballs. Without warning, your overzealous riff dancer begins to hoot and holler encouragingly, causing him to draw. Yeah, you should never, you know, interrupt a performer while they're in the middle of their routine. Even if you're trying to be encouraging, sometimes you can end up distracting them. And, I, yeah, I don't blame him for attacking. Okay, what's gonna happen here? First of all, is he fused with Nemex? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. And do you have extra traits? You've got some temporary traits. Okay. We can try and get rid of them with Blank Slate. Yeah, this is a... Tough situation. What macro do you have? You've got the reincarnation one. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll do this. Oh, and I forgot to re-enable... Uh, I forgot to re-enable the battle text. So we're just going to be guessing what's going on. I guess we could always read the... Uh, Ebony Ant, you can also... Oh, I'm an idiot. Our Animatus is feared, so he's not even gaining any stats. We need to... Uh, we need to uh, use Antidote. Yeah, we need to do Antidote. Now, with our Animatus, let's actually, yeah, that did nothing. Um, you know what, let's do Archangel's Blessing. Now, with our Rift Dancer, we should do this again. And now we're gaining stats like we should. Um, I'm just gonna do this again. Gaining even more stats. Now we desperately need an Archangel's Blessing. Okay, now... I do want to... attack... Okay, I need to see what happened. So why did that do no damage? Hmm. Was it because of... Okay, so he's got some sort of... Uh... barrier that's preventing him from taking damage. Oh, our Animatus is confused, which freaking sucks, but we can use Antidote. Get rid of that. And now our Dread White. Let's... Tr is gem sealed after casting, of course. Let's try Rabid Dementia. Like, what 
the hell is unjustified expectations? Okay. Immune... What? Attacks, spells, or both? So, will we know ahead of time which type it is? Or will we not? Anyway, uh, let's... Hmm... I don't know, let's, uh, defile them. Just in case they were thinking about healing. And we only have one double cast of Rabbit Dementia because it's going to be sealed. So let's do something else in the meantime. Let's just do uh, an Archangel's Blessing. And the Rift Dancer... I don't even know what's going on. You is like is that guy provoking? Is that way he's like intercepting our attacks or something? Okay, so he should have changed into something else now, right? Or I don't understand what's going on in this fight. Justified expectations is what's stopping us from taking damage. But then... Okay, now that middle guy's taking damage, he's also confused. I don't know, attack this guy. Confuse him as well. There we go, finally, some damage being dealt. That one was obviously immune. Keep on provoking. And just defend, defend. I don't know, um, anything that we want. Yeah, let's take away those buffs. Oh, I guess they change into a different color. So the green ones are so the green ones are immune to damage from attacks. Okay. Uh, I accidentally provoked with the, uh... The blue ones are evidently also immune to attack damage. So the, that means the purple ones should be vulnerable to attack damage. Okay. Duly noted. So that means with my animators, attack the purple ones. Attack only purple ones. This one's already taken some damage. And then the green ones are taking spell damage. Okay. This fight is gonna take a while. Uh, just defend, defend, defend. Uh, just do more damage to this purple one. I should have actually attacked the other one. Just Actually, no, he was already confused. I was gonna say I should attack him to inflict the confusion debuff on him. Well, that was annoying. And only one of them is purple, so... Uh, just defend. 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 
And let's see, can you take this guy out? Yes, you can. Corpse explosions are hurting the ones that are susceptible to spells. We arbitrated. None of them are purple. I don't know, let's just do a finger of death. I think the green ones were susceptible to spells, right? That was some good damage. Let's defend... I don't know, maybe Rune of Sa. Let's see, let's see how that works. That did very little, alright. I'm not gonna bother. And none of them are purple, just to remind myself. The green ones, yeah. The green ones are not. The green ones are not ones that we can do anything with. Is there anything else we should do? I know I just, just provoke. That's the most useful thing you can do. And... Oh, this guy's purple. And that guy's purple. Let's finish this guy off. And... Uh, just defend. Defend. Actually, you know what? Let's do a double cast rabbit dementia. 50-50 chance. Did I... Did I cast it on the wrong creature? I cast it... I wasted it on... She even attacked the correct target, I think, but... Wasted it. What a... What an awful misplay. I mean, we're still probably gonna win. Nope. Slowly and painfully, but eventually we are gonna win. Ooh, you did some good damage, and that Archangel's Blessing was really nice as well. Wait, no. You are purple. Good hits. Good hits. And just, I guess, you can defend. You've wasted your rabbit dementia on that awful mistake that I made. So don't even worry about it, just defend. You can also defend. And you can just kill that guy straight up. And those guys are dead. And now... I don't even know what kind of damage. Okay, immune to attacks or spells or both. So this must be the one that's immune to both attacks and spells. Or at least we know it's immune to attacks. So just defend, I guess. Provoke. And yeah, we know this one is not immune to spells, but what spell can we even cast? We don't have that many buffs, but I guess we can try Star Pact. That actually did decent damage. And do you have any damaging spell? I don't think you do. I don't know, just blistering radiance. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Um, Rune of Sa is already sealed. I just make this guy miserable, I guess. And file him as well. And we're just waiting for this guy to turn purple. There we go. Did it. Rabbit Dementia, you don't have it, so just provoke. And please, do you have your own? Yes, you do. There we go. That has done it. That has done it. Lubris has been dealt with. All right. All right. Anything else left to do in this realm? I don't... Well, there's a thing that might have a chest at the end. And indeed it did. 
but nothing too exciting in it. So I think we're just gonna call this good. We're not summoning Divination Candle enemies because I am not fighting enemies that are fused with mimics. I'm sorry, I just on principle I refuse to. It is too annoying to even think about. Let's make sure we've donated to you and let us head back to Cyrilim. We've got a project to turn in, evidently. So let's do that. Forage mission. Oh, uh, I just realized something. Our rune of prophecies. We needed we needed to kill death creatures, and we could have summoned death creatures at the divination candle. But like I said, I'm not getting into optional combats in conditions that are that obnoxious. I'm not fighting mimic creatures unless I absolutely have to. So what we'll do is next episode, next, which is going to be, by the way, another uh, boss fight against the fa false god Saint Althea. If by the end of that we still haven't already, you know, naturally completed the uh, death creature kills that we need, then we'll uh, summon death enemies at the candle there. But for now, let's just reflect on what we accomplished this episode. Didn't find any uh, rare items, but we did beat the master, we did beat the uh, nether boss. Both of which are, well, they're achievements in their own right, but they're also uh, bits of progress towards seeing more of this game. Yeah. Chiefly, my goal of uh, seeing all of the nether bosses in this cycle, where they're going to have their strongest, uh, their strongest boss modifiers. And in this episode, we saw what the strongest version of Flubris looks like. It was a... You know what, let's actually see... I don't usually do this, usually I just care about what the strongest one is, but with this one, I really want to know what the progression is from uh, weaker versions of Flubris to uh, the more... Uh, to, to the one we fought right now, okay. So tier one. Wait. The, 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 all of these are the same. All of these are exactly the same. Right? Oh no. So tier 2 and tier 3 also make it immune to indirect damage. And maybe there's something about the pattern of how it changes between the slime types that makes tier 3 different and potentially harder from tier 2, but from reading it, as far as I can see, tier 2 and tier 3 are uh, the same. But anyway, yeah, that was a... Uh, Another uh, strange uh, a boss gimmick. Another one of those. In a way, it was similar to Chroma, who we fought not that long ago, where you could only damage him in certain windows. That was based on the creature, based on the type of. Uh, not the creature necessarily, the creature if it's attacking, but also the type of spells. Like, if it's only taking death damage, then only death creatures and death spells. But, like, we, you remember how it was. It was annoying, we dealt with it. This one is similar in a different kind of way, but in a more generalized kind of way, where it's taking damage either from attacks or spells, or evidently from nothing at all. Just, just completely immune, because indirect damage can't hurt it either. So if, if, I'm like, I'm thinking, is there a way to damage it when it has the version that's immune to both attacks and spells and indirect damage? And I just cannot think of anything. 
maybe there's something. Uh, if there is, let me know. But I, yeah, off the top of my head, don't know how you would damage it in that state. And we didn't have... Well, we did have spells, but the problem is we also had the uh, sealed after casting realm property. So the main way we had of damaging this guy was just by attacking him. So we had to wait for that form to show up. Which, you know, it wasn't that bad in the end. How long has this episode even been? It's yeah, only 40 minutes, so not even, not even that long. I've definitely had longer and worse uh, boss encounters than this one. But yeah, in the end we pulled through, we did a good job. I was happy with my performance and I hope you enjoyed the episode as well. I think we are going to call it here though. Once again, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you'll stick around for next episode where we are going to take down, where we're going to try to take down the false god Saint Althea. So until then, take care.